Honey, you you okay? Yeah, you're just kind of sitting there. <laughs> uh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Night in the Woods. <laughs> so, last episode, we pretty much spent majority of the time learning a lot of the lore of Possum Springs and more about the miners and... Uh, deaths <laughs> deaths that happened um and we found some spooky information we found information about little joe and uh i guess his spooky occurrences and stuff in town now we're in the graveyard with b <laughs> to explore to see like if there's any um spooky occurrences i believe there was a news article talking about like the graveyard but Anyways, let's go ahead and explore the graveyard. Foggy. Always got that evening fall fog. A collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year round. I mean, fogs are... Fog is kind of cool, but... Um, B, sometimes fog is, uh, kind of scary. Especially at nighttime. Because <laughs> you start seeing things. Like this, for example. Well, there is a statue. Ooh, also spooky. I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but, like, whatever. So, we wait here. Yeah. And a ghost shows up. Yes. <laughs> yes. This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. No, any ghost stories? Oh, we actually are going to wait here. Okay. <laughs> Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, things are like monumentally screwed right now and no one in power gives a shit or they're actively making it worse out of spite or profit. Whoa, jeez. I meant like a skeleton or something. <laughs> <clears throat> Look, B. B is just very realistic. <laughs> B is very realistic, May. I don't think she's good at... No, she probably is, but I don't think she just... She wants to take the time making up a ghost story or something. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something and you make it spookier. All right. How about this? A skeleton in your hallway at night? A skeleton outside your window? Hmm. How about a skeleton in your hallway at night? A regular stranger dude in your hallway at night? And... He's got a knife. And he's a pharmaceutical CEO. What? <laughs> Okay, that's funny. <laughs> B. And he jacked up the piece the the price of meds that keep people from dying. Um and he's a skeleton. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> skeleton CEO with a knife. All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff is like really really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. What were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something. This is dumb. Let's go. Alright, let's... I, I, I want to keep exploring further, though. If the statue moved or anything, I wasn't paying attention because I was reading. <laughs> okay, so... I'm going to go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh... Okay. Give me a minute or two. Okay. Totally, no problem. 
Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll ch uh, check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying. When I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up here then. Let's 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 check out a a grave or three. Right. Okay, mate. Why is the music getting spooky? Right. Hey. Hey. Is this? Yep. Oh. Yep. Right, okay. Um, that's the end. <clears throat> Let's go, May. <laughs> oh, we're we're gonna see something spooky for sure. Can I go up? Okay, no. Bro, what is up with the music? <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, Rose, age 95 years. Oh, hmm. Standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. Can't really be sad about this. 95 years, wow. Yeah, 95 years, that's, that's crazy. My dad is still going. <laughs> My dad is 93. Yeah, he's still going. Can't really be sad about this. She had a really good run. Like, if life was an arcade game, this would be on the high score screen. She's not wrong. That's true, yeah. All right, taken by flu, 14 years old. Oh, that's sad. Catherine, <gasps> Catherine Fish, or Fish. <laughs> oh dang! Lived like fourteen years. That's not enough time. Poor family. That's not enough time. Probably never said anything anyone could understand. You should get off at at least one good sentence in life. Oh, hello. Hey. Evening. Evening. What you up to, bud? Looking for a ghost while my friend v visits her mom's grave. You? I'm the grave digger, groundskeeper, what have you. Can we talk shop for a sec? Shoot. Do you dig the graves with the shovel. <laughs> Do you get spooked out here all by your lonesome, sir? Nah, I work here. Tends to take the spook out of the place. This job pay well? You thinking about, about digging graves? Depends on the pay. Not much. Oh. I'm a wedding on, I'm a wedding DJ on, on the side. Freaking sweet. I will rock you hard. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sounds great, my man. Well, see ya. Good luck finding your ghost. Jeez. Grave guy, career career idea, grave digger. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, what's this? Brad Boyson. Oh, a bicycle. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. He crashed his bike. He was hit by a bike. He, lo he loved his bike. He loved it so hard. He smooched it. So right. <laughs> Jeez, V. How long does a mom visit take? TikTok, Beatrice. We got places to be. Holy crap. 
I am a jerk. Yeah, you kind of, that was kind of very jerky to say, May. Like she's trying to spend time with her dead mom that she barely has the time to even do because she's so busy handling the shop and dealing with her, with her father and then just life at home. Like, come on, May. Hey, what's up, B? Hey. Uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that... You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yes. That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's... My mom's buried in a, a pretty low spot. I, I couldn't afford the hell. Aw, oh, that sucks. So I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's just... just gonna cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard. They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. You see, the sink... You don't choose, May, where the sinkholes are. The sinkholes just happen. <laughs> it can happen anywhere. That's the scary thing about sinkholes. Like, literally everybody right now that's watching this, where you are right now, a sinkhole could literally happen. You, you, you could probably die, depending on how big it is, but <laughs> a sinkhole can happen anywhere, May. Because sinkholes are essentially where the ground just becomes incredibly unstable and then... Think of, like, an, an implosion on itself, essentially. It's just a giant-ass hole just appears, gives out. Like, it, it can happen anywhere, May. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. Yeah, that too. Like, sinkholes happen um, in, I believe, in areas that heavily flood, that's constantly wet and rain and things like that. Like, a lot goes into sinkholes. <laughs> and yet, here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard m m music from the top of the hill. And like, voices. Huh, that's, uh, spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going up. Not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah, sure. Oh! Oh, I'm at the top! Oh, I'm at the top! Wee! <laughs> I just jumped, like, to jump across as traveling. I didn't think I, I, I was going to be able to go in the background. Okay, cool. Oh, this is so cool. Why is it... Why are you guys back? Oh, wary travelers. You seek answers among the dead. But they shall give you none. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, guys. Do you know these kids? <laughs> yeah, we've met. What are y'all doing? Okay, so... We are the keepers of the gates. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We govern who shall pass, and who shall remain. All right, well, answer us these questions. Truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, 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 fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question. Have you ever done it? Done it? You can just call it sex. <laughs> you can just call it sex. We're grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer. No, yet yeah, no. Never got around to it. And you? Yeah. What? Wait, 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 B, what? When? B! B, with who? <laughs> What? When? Summer before 11th grade. 
Really? How did I not know this? This was when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this? Who did this happen with? Ugh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. Math camp? What is math camp? You go and do like math stuff and camp stuff. And apparently have lots of sex. <laughs> it wasn't good. Top notch math though. This is boring. Next question. Jeez, fine. <laughs> Describe your dream dates. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something like spooky at least? Dream date! <laughs> okay, fine. Ugh. Uh, he'd be tall, dress cool, re really smart, likes good music. And we go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. Like you're gonna wrestle or you're gonna like watch wrestling. We go see wrestling. I could wrestle, yeah. It, it, that, that's actually fun. <laughs> I don't care if it's a guy or a girl, but they'd have to be like, grr, <laughs> because I don't even want to date someone who's not, grr. <laughs> so you're gonna wrestle this person. Yeah, they better be super tough and cool. And we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding. And then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. That's actually really sweet. I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? <laughs> Just go with it. Answer. One time I farted in front of the class. <laughs> that's it. What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. <laughs> uh, oh god. One time in junior high. One time in college. There was this cute girl I saw at the cafeteria. Like, a few times a week. I guess our schedules lined up or something. Which is weird about college. It's like a little town cut to the chase jeez okay so i got up the nerve to talk to her and i followed her out into the hallway and i don't know why but i shouted hey and she turned around and and all i could do was wave oof this is funny <laughs> and 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 then I turned around and tried to walk away all cool. But I ran into this door frame right behind me. And it hurt and I staggered back and... And... Fell into the trash can outside the cafeteria. And my face went into trash spaghetti. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god, that's terrible, man. What the f <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> Continue. And I like flailed until the trash tipped over and i got up and the girl had had uh, had she'd watched all of it and i tried to give her this smile like i'd somehow meant to do that but it turns out i'd swallowed some of the trash spaghetti <clears throat> oh spaghetti <laughs> and and i puked all over myself no wonder you came home. Yeah, May, what the hell? May? <laughs> that, that like, went from, oh, okay, like, it's not that bad to, uh, okay, that's kind of embarrassing to, oh my god, May, are you okay? And then down to, like, okay, May, like, um, you need medical help. <laughs> medical mental help. <laughs> But if you have any embarrassing stories, let me know in the comments below. I would like to read and uh, hear any em embarrassing stuff that any of you have uh, experienced. <laughs> but yeah, no wonder you came home, May. That makes a lot of sense. I, I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs>
<laughs> wow, that's messed up. I'm going to throw up thanks for nothing. <laughs> you have come to f you have come face to face with your lowest moments. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the effing hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. I hate everything right now. They literally made them say the most embarrassing, sh em embarrassing shit for nothing. Forget it. Let's go. Yeah, thanks for nothing, guys. Oh my god. Okay, then. What else is down here? Ooh. So, like, ghosts. Ghosts? Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but... Yeah. So, you know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams. Because, obviously, it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But, like, did you ever see my mom? Yes. It's hard to, like, r recognize anyone, but you can get a sense of people. And, uh, I, uh, I'm pretty sure I saw her. Really? As far as I can tell. I just want to know she's somewhere. And okay. She's somewhere, B. And okay. Thanks. I don't know if you're just lying, or you dreamed it. Or what. But even if you just made all that up, it was nice of you. Oh, you're welcome, B. Alright, anyway. So the bad news is that we're locked out. By that big ass gate. Ugh, why make a giant gate in a graveyard? To keep people like you away, May, that's why. <laughs> to keep people like you and Greg away. <laughs> um, to keep people like you out. I exactly, thank you, thank you, B. <laughs> and to stop what you're probably gonna do. Hmm, yeah, we'll never know for sure. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost. I'm just the driver. Fine. Hang out. I'll be back. All right, B, you can chill. Gotta find a way. Oh, of course. Parkour time, baby. Whee! I made it across B. Alright. <laughs> I thought she was gonna say something. Oh. There's no way I'm going to leave B behind. Ugh, Beatrice. Just learn to jump. Not with those scrawny legs, I guess. How do I break that gate open? Oh, come on. I can't go on that branch. There it is. There it is. I gotta break this branch. There it is. <laughs> uh, I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. <laughs> I don't think anyone's back here. And it's getting late. Mm-hmm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see? I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. So, what do we need to do? Uh, I'm gonna go find L L Little Joe's grave. And if, if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock- I I'm gonna knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. <laughs> B is the regulator to May's chaos. And I love this. 
Ooh, okay. I can't jump, so no more jumping. Ooh, what's this? Joe Shade. Yeah, this is him. Ground here's all swampy. Ugh, gross. So, what do we do here? Um, I guess I'm gonna just look around. For ghosts? Ugh, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing, it's cool. May, I am here for you right now. Sorry, you had a tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. Bees just being bee, May. That's it. Any ghost over there? No, bee. You'd know, I'd say. <laughs> okay, okay. Ooh, what's this? I found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. <laughs> wow, yeah, graves. Very interesting, me. <laughs> All right. Um... This grave is for a horse, I think. I don't think they ever buried horses in people's in in people graves. Imagine the big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. That would actually be kind of weird. <laughs> big horse-sized coffin. This is stupid. What were you expecting? Something. It's just stupid. He didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is... Is that what you were expecting to happen? This is stupid. I'm gonna smash this shit. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna smash his shit up. Uh, whoa, dude. Hold, hold up. No. Wakey, wakey, little Joe. Uh, uh, we're... Mate. We are not going to smash his shit up, okay? Okay. Okay, that didn't sound right. Oh. Oh, damn. Holy shit. Holy shit! What did you do? You were right. About what? I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes. We're lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that? Yeah, that's a coffin. Oh, crap. So, we're gonna open it, right? No, we're not going to open a coffin with a rotting corpse in it. B, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. Jeez, God, we are not doing this. We are leaving. <laughs> Aren't you kind of curious at least? Hmm, aren't, aren't you curious? I'm curious. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course you are. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing here. Okay. Okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One, two, three. Uh... Eh? May, you're so scared, me. <laughs> where, 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 where do I open from? Oh. Ah! <laughs> So what, foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. We're not. We're like criminal vandals or like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shh. What? So there's someone back there watching us. Oh, God. I don't know where they went. Just like out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know, but we need to leave now. It could be the ghost. 
No, we're gone. Now. Okay, fine. Jeez. Um. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Th that was, that was the guy. Well, that was weird, huh? Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know the ghost is a dude? Distrust a process, B. <laughs> okay, fine, but he was there. Mate, it was the groundskeeper or something. Investigating who was ruining his graveyard. How do you know the groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. <laughs> Ah, uh, I saw the effing ghost. We saw someone. There are other people in the graveyard, you know? Ugh, whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. Okay, then. I feel like that dude is going to follow us around everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Skull hole. Little Joe's dang skull. Is this why his spirit wanders? Must be avenged? Saw him. Yeah, I saw him. I saw him. He was there. Hello, Papa. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I am sore tonight. Need a back, need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do you what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job don't require much like that. Yeah. Okay. Go to bed, you. Will do. No more Garbo and Malloy. All right. I see how it is. <laughs> I see how it is. All right. Up to our room we go. Oh, oh, we have the little teeth fangs. Oh, and they're glowing. <laughs> oh, and we have our axe. Hell yeah. All right. Um, sure, computer. All right, B. Hey, B, you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a, 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 a grilled cheese. Oh my God, that sounds so good right now. Ugh. I literally just woke up, by the way. <laughs> I literally just woke up and I'm like, you know what? Let me record the new episode of Night in the Woods. And then, um, yeah, I... I'm hungry. I regret. I am very hungry right now. <laughs> I could use a grilled cheese so bad right now. I am starving. What's up? Hey, sorry. I kind of... Hey, sorry. I kind of wrecked the cemetery. I know that's not something you'd normally want to do. It's okay. I, I know you didn't mean to. I mean, what's a grave defilement or two? Or, or two? How about that ghost, though? Mate, seriously, it was the groundskeeper. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you believed in ghosts. I do, kinda. I think. Why couldn't that have been a ghost? I just don't assume every person is a ghost. Everyone could be a ghost. Am I a ghost, May? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Just haunting me forever. I'd make you learn how to drive at, at the very least. <laughs> but anyway, how could you even make him out? How, how could you even make him out anyway? It was so foggy. I could tell, okay? I, I, I could feel it. Uh, honestly, we're lucky it, it was so foggy. Or he'd be able to identify us 
to the police. Ugh. Fine, whatever. I'm sorry I, I made you mad. It's fine, it's fine. Thanks for going with me. I drove. You came with me. Okay, thanks for going. <laughs> You're welcome. Get some sleep. You need it. I so do. Night, dude. Good night. Alright, what about you, Greg? Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Dude. Hey, hey, hey. How was your spooky night? Dude, we went to the cemetery and we accidentally like opened a coffin. It was totally like the corpse of the ghost. Or, y you know what I mean. Whoa! And it was like effing nuts, man. Did you see your ghost? I totally did. Must be on, on the right track. Dude's probably pissed that you messed up with his grave. Ugh, you're right. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to bed. <laughs> good, good job on, like, all of that. You know it, dude. Good night as hell, brah. Good night as F. <laughs> and good night to you, Sharkle. Hey. <laughs> Alright, May, good night. Sweet dreams. Bedtime? Hell yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. A new day is going to happen. No music? You're just gonna plop us right into this world. <laughs> okay, then. Um. Ooh. Interesting. Wee. Oh my god, the, the echo. What is this place? Oh, we are so close to that eclipse. Um, hello? What are you? Hello? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. Are you God? No. Oh. What are you? So, you know, it's probably May's inner self. I don't know. So, seconds ago, l l little creatures are coming. And they are asking if I am God. And I am asking what God is. And they are telling me. And I am not this god and this god is nowhere uh well you, you can't see god you are seeing what you are wishing little creature right so what am i doing here monstrous existence no, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? There were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands, and they are climbing into the air, and now they are making a tear, and now they are gone, 
And now you are here. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh... See, tear or tear? <laughs> a tear? With their hooves. They are making a tear. L little creatures are wandering through the air. And they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. Yeah, my head hurts too. This is very... Uh, th this is a lot to grasp. <laughs> I am going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea, and beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. Oh, uh, what? What? Uh, uh, what was that? <laughs> Oh god, oh god! They are blind, but they are seeing you. And you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air. And closing the sky. Why? Closing the sky? Why? I am tired of speaking with little creatures I am tired of speaking of God okay I will tell you a second thing there is a hole at the center of everything and it is always growing between the stars I am seeing it it is coming and you are not escaping and the universe is forgetting you and the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember. Not even the things beyond. And now there is only the whole. So does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. <laughs> what about my home? What about my friends? What about trees in the fall? What about the leaves? Hmm. Yeah, what about my home, my friends? Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see... All of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. What just happened though? <laughs> okay, oh my God, music. Alright, May. Oof. Get a nice stretch in, and let's wake up for the day. Alright, everybody, how you how you guys doing? Morning at the pickaxe if you're in town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Yeah, she's always there. <laughs> hey, dude. At the old Snelkin. Come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Away message. Planets are to be a pitied ad as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conkling National Astronomy Agency. 
All right. Okay. So is that just his away message forever? <laughs> and a good morning to you, Sharko. <laughs> Alrighty then, let us go explore the town. Oh, anything? Nope, okay. Alrighty then. Hello, mama. Honey, you okay? Yeah, you're just kind of sitting there. <laughs> Uh, mornings. Mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? <laughs> what? No, no. Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, y you can tell me I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You were a miracle, baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then there you were. And here I am now. And if you're- so, if you're pregnant, I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. <laughs> you know, if you did have a baby. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry, I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. All right, bye. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's see anything new in town. Anything back here? Alright, so there was nothing back there. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything up at the rooftops. Oh, telescope man! Hey, let's go! Okay. I want to see the stars. Whee! Hello. May! Mr. Chasikov, you look a bit worse for wear today, May. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? <laughs> Watch yourself, lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars. You know it, yeah. Come have a look. All right, my eyes. Uh... Oh, no complaints this time. Interesting. Okay, May. <laughs> oh, wait. No, never mind. There's one. I'm probably remembering wrong then. There it is. I think I got one. Let us see. Oh, hello. Cole, the mountaineer. Cole. N knew a guy named Cole once? That's close. It is. So, what's up with this guy? Cold was from a flat land. This Midwest? Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was from was. What? <laughs> Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat? Isn't this a common instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one grows up? Yeah. Not really. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like, they move there because it's got stuff. And there's more people like them, maybe? Sucks, though. Not everyone can just up and leave. When I left my country, I felt the same thing. But I have not regretted it. You like Possum Springs? It is beautiful in ways perhaps invisible. To those who have seen it every day of, of their lives. So, what happened to Cole? 
he returned home and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds, and now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. When one leaves a place, one brings something back with when one returns. One. One. <laughs> All right, anything else? Ooh, 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 right? It's this one. Yep. <laughs> gotcha. Ooh, which one is this? Adina Astra. What? You know this one? Yes, I know this one. It's a common story. How Adina journeyed to the frozen lake. How she traversed unknown faraway lands. I was, I was very into uh, uh, Adina stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her. Yeah. How she, in her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth, where her stars were no longer over her head. And how she was never seen again. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Is that not a sad ending? Yeah, I mean, she probably died. <laughs> no, disappearing isn't the same as dying. No, disappearing isn't the same as dying. She probably went somewhere else completely and did all kinds of cool shit. Oh my. Yeah, so whatever. Oof, that's all for the day. That was nice. Pretty sweet, the stars, I mean. I am in agreement. Oh man, we got Cole and Adina. <laughs> All right, let's see what Selmer's got to say. What up, Selmer's? Hey, May. You all right? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a, a, a poem? cheer you up uh sure yeah sure life goes on it feels so long but i report life is too short <laughs> here's another happy one life is great but life is hard let's grill hot dogs in the backyard i knew she was gonna say backyard <laughs> thank you selmers they cheer you they cheer you up <laughs> They did. Yay. Oh, wait, you have more to say. Chasikov's up there again. He ever, like, drop that telescope? Oh, no, he'd cry his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Visits every once in a while. He is hot as hell. You talk to him? Nah, he works at some university research place. He's not interested in this. Selmers. Eh. They do karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. Right. Did Selmers try to like shoot her shot and he shot her down? That sucks. Anyways, Selmer's is too good for him anyways. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, no fish guy. Can't take any pretzels. The old lady is never coming back. She died, probably. <laughs> um, and, oh, the teenage, teenagers, hello. So like, are you always together? Yeah, I guess. That's cool. Friends are cool. Safer. Safer? Yeah, like the buddy system. Safety in numbers. You're a little paranoid. You, you, you know that? Kid, you don't even know. Anyone hear anything about anyone around here missing? Uh, yeah, actually. There's some girl I know online. She hasn't been on since Harf- since Harfest. 
shit, that was probably the girl that we saw get kidnapped. Okay, well, I think we might need a bit more than that. Okay. Is she from here? I could ask my aunt. Someplace called Malve. Malve? You know someone from Malve? Yeah. Do you know where Malve is? Do you know what Malve is? No. <laughs> no. I heard about Malve. My dad drives a bread truck. Malve used to be one of his stops. But what happened? He don't stop there no more. They had to pay some they had to pay some other guy to do it. Sounds about right. What's Malve? I'll take you out there this weekend. Don't. It'll be fine, we'll just drive through. I need to get back in in the sun now. I I guess Malve is a very bad place. <laughs> a very bad place. Hello, my buddy. Hey, kid. What you up to? Hey, adult. Nothing. Sounds good. W was gonna go down to the tracks. Did you want to come? Uh, sounds good. Yeah, let's go. Oh, good, good, good. Let's go. Totally, let's. Oh, man. <laughs> my friend Casey used to come out here and smoke. I used to smoke when I was younger. I'm allergic. Oh, really? I'm allergic. <laughs> but my friend B does it around me anyway. How long did you do it for? Okay, it was once. I was younger, though. I was 12. Good age to quit. Oh, my God. I could vape. You could vape, when, but, but you, you, you shouldn't because vaping is just as bad. I'm not gonna vape. Probably a good idea. Um, so do you re remember the thing we squished on the tracks last time? Uh, yeah. What are we doing? Are we gonna make it flatter? Kinda, but no, you'll see. I'm gonna pick a, a new thing to squish him with. Alright then. Okay. You, you know what we don't have around here? A taco place. <laughs> Serial killers. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I, 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 good. <laughs> Why would you want serial killers? I mean, I'd vote for us getting a taco place first, but yeah, we never got around to getting our own serial killer. You ever think about murdering someone? Like, okay, so a few longest nights ago, I went to Bright Harbor with my aunt and cousin, and we went on the subway. And like, there's no railing down there above the tracks. And I had this sudden urge to like, shove someone off it. It was weird, and I felt guilty about it for a long time. But like, I didn't actually do it, so... I mean, is that normal? I think that's pretty normal. I mean, that's more of intrusive thoughts. That's normal. I guess you actually did try to kill someone. That was different. <laughs> um, that was different. <laughs> How? That was like, not planned. And I, I wasn't trying to kill him. It was just a thing that happened. So yeah, it, it wasn't like my first step on the way to serial killer dumb. Right. Sorry. Choo choo. Choo choo! <laughs> Alright then. It's cool. Y you know what I like? Tacos. <laughs> I think Mayo's hungry for tacos. Pictures of the meteor that killed the dinosaurs. Where the dinosaurs are watching it in the sky. Oh yeah. That's like every single picture of that meteor. Weird. Wonder if they knew. Oh, the train tracks are very busy today. Oh, 
Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got. Yay! Oh god, your little dudes are... It, like, hurts my soul. It speaks. The art speaks, May. It calls my name! <laughs> uh... That was cool. Yeah, it was. I gotta get going. Things are, like, hectic right now. Oh? What's up? Uh, jeez. Just, like, be careful, okay? How so? Like, go home at dark. There's some bad stuff going on. Like what? Oh god, I don't even know where to start. Just, like, be careful. Alright. Thanks for the warning. About whatever y you're warning me about. Don't mention it. Of course, yeah, don't mention it. Yeah. <laughs> Laters! Oh yeah, skull. <laughs> okay then, let's check on our... Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought, I thought they closed the window and I was like, no, my babies. Okay, no, let's check on our babies. Oh my God, I had a heart attack. Hello, my babies. Yep, looking super dead, dead as ever. Oh, I can go through the door. Wait. What is this place? Who lives here? It's like, it's like just a room. One fridge, one dresser, one lamp, one bed. One window, one door. I guess that makes two ways out. Whoever lives here is certainly a churchgoer. <gasps> Was this maybe Mama's like secret place and I didn't explore with her? Maybe, I don't know. Five saints. Grandmama had a setup like this. Last time I saw her. Icons are good for keeping the good in, and the bad out. This is the super important info I retained from years of Sunday school. In the end, Grandmama died while the saints watched. It was time, and they weren't saints anyway. They were pictures. Pour one out for Grandmama. Oh, This would be creepy if it wasn't so spooky. I could hide in here until whoever lives here gets back and possibly give them a heart attack or get shot in the face with a gun. Yeah, May, that's not a good idea. <laughs> what am I doing here? What am I doing with my life? I'm sitting in a stranger's closet in a nearly vacant building. I could just stay in here just forever. Be here forever. Where does this person pee? <laughs> it's dark in here. Interesting. Huh. Oh, Mallard is still there. Hello, Mallard. Worst exit, easily. Alright then. Well, that's that. <laughs> All right, anything of interest back here? Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Who are you? Hey. Hey, Angel. This is my friend, May. Hey, May. What's up? Cool name. Gracias. Much obliged. Angel's just in town between trains. Going west next? Yeah, then south for the winter. Like a dirty birdie. Down to the gulf. Lay in the sun. Eat me some crawfish. Actually, Angel, you might be able to answer a question. Shoot, bro. Have you heard anything about a ghost in town? Have you met anyone named Casey out on the rails? Hmm, let me think. You know what he or she looked like? 
he he looked kind of like me a little taller orangish hair nah man i don't recollect but i seen like a thousand dudes out there it's okay i'll tell you what i'll ask around and if i find him or someone who's seen him i'll say that may from possum springs is looking for him thanks that means that means a lot i owe you nah nah it's a cold world run by the worst people and good men die for god knows what reason we gotta take on like duties for for, for one an another you know yeah thanks again what's traveling like it's good it's good never could stay in one spot i have like the exact i have like the exact opposite problem all right partners time for me to shove off see ya angel stay safe adios all right bye bye well that's over no fun no fun something's bad coming i know it's a ghost germ a real life ghost there aren't ghosts ghosts aren't a thing how do you know my brother would have visited charm jeez well it's dinner time see ya germ what the bro how did he get over this thing i can't jump that no way he could have there's no hole how did he do it I mean, I guess he could really be a ghost. I think he I think he's a ghost. Ugh. What's out there? Hello, Angus. Hey, May. Hey, dude. Totally, what's up? Nothing. You okay? Yep. Okay. Sorry, don't mind me. Okay, Angus. I hope you're okay. You're usually, usually kind of talkative, but okay. And hello, B. Hey, B. Hey. You alright? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You want to talk about it? Nah. Okay. Oof. What are you up to? today wandering around town whatever you want to do wandering around town have fun so can we king with b or something is is that what that was <laughs> i'm sure I'd, um if we were to hang out i'm not sure well i'm not sure what we would do if we hung out <laughs> but let's go ahead and go to the church Hello, Mama. Hey, hun. Are you still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about helps. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me here, hun. It brightens my day. Feels weird being here today. Like, there's so much empty space. Come on Sunday, it's full then. I bet it is. I gotta get back to work, sweetie. See ya, mommers. See ya, daughters. <laughs> can I can I go in the back room? Man. <laughs> Alright, what about this? Oh. Because there will be children here. And this is a historic church. That's half empty. That's your job to fix, not ours. The population drain in this region? You have to know this place will never be full again. We have the space and we have people who need space. We have resources and we have poverty. And not in some far off place or some big city. 
right here, right across the street. Katie, it's our number one job right now to bring a business into town. Business means jobs, and jobs means people. We have to do what we can to get the attention of the market. And having a half-dead church stacked full of bums. Thanks for your time. We'll see you for the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Kate. So Kate wants to make this a shelter for homeless people, but they're like, nah, we, we, we don't want that because that's going to ruin our image for business. Screw humanity. We need money. Like, that's... Oh, my God. You have a good heart, Kate. Thank you all for coming. Jeez. A stressful day. Some days you need grace more than others. Was this all about Bruce? It was. Is. Whatever. It's out of our hands now. But there are better hands than mine. Hmm. Anyway, how are you, May? Eh. Eh. <laughs> it sounds serious. I guess. So, like, things have been rough lately. I can see that. What seems to be the trouble? I think I met God. What? It was a dream. I don't think it was a dream. It was a dream. <laughs> but God talks to us that way, right? Sure. Can you tell me about it? I was... I was in this desert. As... As far as I could see, where, like, all that was left of the world was bits of wood and sand. I was wandering through it, but I was, like, drawn to something. And I came up over this... What do you call a hill made of sand? A dune. Yeah, a dune. And there was God. Just sitting there up on an another hill or dune whatever <laughs> just hanging out yeah seemed like they were really into just hanging out did they say anything yeah they like didn't care they were kind of a jerk they like didn't care they didn't care if you were there no i mean they didn't care in general they went on and on and on about how annoyed they were that people kept coming to them with questions and annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think that was God then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably, probably believe it. Yeah, she's right. No, what I mean is that the thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing and it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about how nothing matters, this giant hole, how nothing matters. Like, the universe is ending, and everything is being forgotten. That sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? Yes. <laughs> I had this problem when I was in high school, and I did something really bad. You probably heard about it. Your mom has mentioned it. Yeah, I figured. Well, since then, there's this deep down loneliness. Been there for years. Since, well, just been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where, if we opened ourselves up, God can enter our lives most effectively. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes, that's the best you've got. Yeah. I feel like that's maybe not a good enough answer for you. Is that a good enough answer for anyone? Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. Do you really think there's a god? Like, literally, someone there, up there listening? Is that something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. 
on my best days, I think I do. But there are times where I don't. But, but you stand up there every Sunday and tell people you do. And even you're not sure? It's your job to believe. Well, I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe in something you don't a hundred believe in yourself. Maybe you're right, May. And, and maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally of how much I believe that week. But who, who would that help? But you're a pastor and you can't tell me whether or not God is up there, whether anyone is watching, anyone who gives a shit. No, but then what is the point of you? May is not wrong though. <laughs> May is spitting facts right now. Um, May, you need to just leave. Yeah, awkward. I have to go. Okay. Right, May. Okay, yeah, just wow. Okay. Um <laughs> Jeez. A Bruce, where are you? Looking for Bruce. Looking for Brucey Bruce. Where are you? Hello, Bruce. Hey, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you tell Pastor Kate something for me? Sure. But don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. Tell her I said thank you. And I'm sorry I caused her trouble. But I'm not worth throwing away her job. She's the pastor after all. Folks need her. Um, are you leaving? Yep. <gasps> no, Bruce! G gonna hop on a train tonight. Headed east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand to no man again. Sit on my daughter's front porch. Watch my grandbabies play in the yard. They'll all be there. I'm gonna get off that train. M my kids are gonna be there. They'll have a sign they made. Nothing fancy. A poster board and markers. Welcome home, Dad. And I'll be home. That sounds great, Bruce. Yep, yep. Thanks for talking to me. It was nice to get to know you. You too, Bruce. Uh, I'm gonna miss you. We'll all meet again. I hope so. Hope's important. It's the last thing you got. You take care of yourself. You too, May. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand at this. Maybe older than I should've ever got to. But I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. Goodbye, May. Oh, Bruce is leaving! <gasps> that actually makes me sad! Uh, man! <sighs> Alright, we are gonna go ahead and park ourselves here. And we are going to spend our time with Greg for the... I think we're going to the museum? <laughs> oh, sorry, I had a stretch. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, we are going to go to the, I, I believe, the museum with Greg um, next episode. So that's going to be fun, exciting. We may destroy things. We may steal things. We may f go full on vandalizing. I don't know, because Greg is crazy <laughs> the graveyard was very interesting we got to see the the figure we saw on um harfest night and i have a feeling that he knows that we're we are getting closer to figuring out i guess like who this person is or ghost is and i think they're watching us to see just how close we get and then if we get a little too close to the tr to the truth um 
they there may be some problems that may come up but anyways thank you guys so 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 much for joining me on this session hope you have an awesome day and i will see you in the next episode bye bye -yous. We just gotta find Greg.